Hey guys, it's Andy with The Rag Company and welcome to Wash Wednesday. In today's video, we have Josh here and what kind of car do we have? We have a 2012 Evo 10. All right, Josh, so this is a killer car, man. I love what you've done with it. Looks Appreciate it. Looks freaking awesome. Thank this you. This car is wrapped and one of the few wrapped cars that we've had for Wash Wednesday. So welcome and uh, also, you're gonna be the first to try out our brand new wash bay here at the TRC Media Sick. Studio. I'm hyped. I'm hyped as well. This is gonna be, it's gonna be a good day, man. So anyways, the plan is, is we're gonna go ahead and get the car into the wash bay over there, kind of explain the process. We're gonna be going about this with a two bucket method, but a two bucket method with the ultra black sponge. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. But we are going to be rinsing down the car. We're gonna be foaming the car, a two bucket wash, cleaning all the wheels, right over there in that wash bay and i think it's gonna be really really fun and we're gonna get a little wet though right are you ready for it's that part of the process it's part of the yeah. process right is it sweat is it water we're not really sure we're just gonna go with it <laughs> with that said they're gonna make me wear crocs so um i'm gonna do that and uh it's, it's gonna be fine try not to draw too much attention to it because you are probably gonna make it more weird than i'm gonna make it you know real men wear crocs Okay, so I've made that weird. Um, so we're gonna go <laughs> ahead, get the car over there, and we're gonna get started. Awesome. All right, Josh, so we got the car in the bay, and it looks awesome. Are you excited to be the first person to get their car I'm washed in this? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Happy. I'm sitting here like, this is great. We have all these new toys to play with. I got some buckets in front of me. So here's the deal. We're gonna be doing a two bucket wash method today. Have you ever done that before? I have not. Okay, I'm gonna be taking this to the next level then for you. So in front of us, we have two buckets. We have a wash and a rinse and a third bucket for the wheels. All three of these have grit guards in them and our wash media of choice today is going to be the ultra black sponge. Now we're gonna be using this with soap and water because I know a lot of people have been requesting to see this. So this is a new sponge that we just released about last month that okay. we can use um, for washes, just like we would with a wash mitt. And so it's a, a very proprietary type of foam that allows us to safely clean without scratching or marring or anything like that. And uh, foam has come a long way. So these sponges today are not the same sponges that you probably knew 20 years ago or something. Were you alive 20 years ago? I was four oh. years old. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so dropping that back in here, so that's gonna be the plan for today. So we're gonna be rinsing this thing first, doing a pre-soak. We're gonna be foaming up the car, which I think will look really, really cool. Begin working and uh, getting this thing all cleaned up. I think it's gonna be pretty simple. We'll kind of be delicate around all the vinyl wrapped areas and all that, but that shouldn't be a problem at all whatsoever. And then following that, we're gonna be cleaning the wheels. We're super excited to show you all of our new piping and all of our new lines for all the different products that we have on tap here. So. We don't have to use trigger sprayers or anything like that. We can actually pull any one of these lines here and have feed maker on tap, have brake buster on tap, O and R on tap, whatever you want, oh, we snap. can put it in there. So it'll be super, super cool. So um, you ready to get started? Let's do it. All right. Now what's cool about doing this inside, Josh, is that back in the day when we did this outside, right, we'd be working in sea elements, right? right? We'd be sitting here like, oh my God, the foam's drying or whatever it is is drying. We have to really, really hurry. Whereas now we can let this soap, we can let this water sit on here for however long we want because we're using deionized water. We're using really, really safe soap. Uh, we don't have to worry about the sun. I don't have to really, really worry about the heat, even though it's a little toasty in here. So it's great. Basically we can relax, talk, Take Maybe take a break, have a drink, go get a massage, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever you know, whatever we want to do to fit, you know, fit that time in between. So, um, all right, so we're going to be using Pearl today, which is a soap by PNS. Um, it's a very dilutable soap. It's a very, very, uh, very liquidy soap is what I like to say, but also foams really, really well. So we're going to be doing the foam cannon all over the car, getting it all cleaned up and then jumping in with sponges. Awesome.
All right. So here we go, Josh. We have two buckets here. I probably should put these on the mat. Now we have a <coughs> rinse and we have a wash. Now try not to get your feet super soaked, right? Maybe eventually we'll get like a set of guest Crocs, right? Something That'd in like a really sick. nice color, purple or green or- Yellow. Yellow, okay, all right. Yellow. So here's how this works. We have our wash bucket, we have our rinse bucket. I'm gonna take this uh, ultra black sponge and put it in this bucket. And how this is gonna work, we're gonna pull this out of our soapy water here. We're gonna be going through on the car, wiping things down. You'll feel how slick it is. It feels really, really nice. You can flip the sponge the other side, knock out like the rest of the fender or whatever panel you're wanting to do. Then we're gonna go into our rinse bucket, rinse it out, squeeze out the soap, back into our wash bucket, and then continue on. Does that make sense? Gotcha, yep. So releasing the contaminants, going back in, and going back for a nice clean liquid before we put it back onto the paint. So. Makes sense. Let's keep going. All right. So we go top to bottom. Yep, so we can start on the roof first. First place we'll start. And so you don't have to rub hard, which is nice. You can basically just apply just a little bit of pressure to allow the kind of sponge to kind of contour to certain areas. Right. But that's pretty much it. You'll find that it kind of does the work itself for you. And you want to go in the same direction, right, or no? It doesn't matter, okay. to be honest. They say, you know, don't do, don't do circular things because that causes swirls. No, no, that's not really how that works. But you can go all the way down. Let's go ahead and knock out the windshield here. So I'll go ahead and pick that up, go through. And we got a lot of suds. I think that's pretty obvious. Yeah, this is insane. So, foam cannon, man. But what's crazy though, is that the coating isn't wanting to hold on to all the foam. And you can see that it's kind of dripping off pretty fast. And that's totally normal of a coating. Right. And that's not a bad thing at all. It's a good thing. But I think it's kind of start time to start talking about the car. So kind of give us a rundown. You know, how long have you had this car for? Bought this car beginning of 2020. Okay. Um, basic bolt-ons. Little mat for E85, but yeah, like I said, it's pretty much my daily, so just okay. trying to keep it reliable as possible. Okay, and what's it? So what's it on? What's it on right now? What kind of bolt-ons does it have? Uh, just turbo back exhaust, intake, injectors, fuel pump. Okay. The works. Um, so do you have a kind of a power goal in mind, or you just kind of basically want it to where it runs smooth, regardless much, of what it makes? Uh, pretty much 400 is what I'm aiming for. Okay. Nothing crazy. Yeah. No, that's definitely but realistic. I feel like that's a safe number. Or if I want to get on it, it goes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely, man. Yeah, I know we've had um, my friend Jason with his Evo at, uh, Evo 9 is what he had on here on the show. And people really, really like that car. He's a really clean example. And when he brought the car in, it only had, I want to say, probably around 300 horsepower. And then nowadays, this thing's pushing, I think, 550 to the wheels. And Goodness it is gracious. hands down. Yeah, it is fast. It's kind of what, what, what a difference that a couple hundred <laughs> horsepower can make. I know that sounds kind of obvious, but I mean, it is really true. It's kind of crazy. And he's selling it too. He is. Unfortunately, he wants to buy a Corvette. I told him uh. if he does, I'll buy him his first pair of New Balances. <laughs> <laughs> Dane couldn't resist that one, could you, Dane? He, when the cameraman laughs, that's when you know it's good. Hardest person to get to laugh though is definitely Morgan, right? <laughs> See what I mean? So this wrap is surprisingly clean. I'm guessing you went to that car show that was just recently here, right? I did. Cool, man. Well, how'd it go? Did you like it? Have a fun I time? I thought it was a great turnout. It was a for pretty the, big one. The Idaho scene. Yeah. I thought it was pretty awesome. No, it was a good time. And there was a couple other Evo X's there too, right? It was, yeah, I went with a group of them. Nice, and so, would you say there's a pretty big Evo X community here in, in, in Boise? Uh, that was pretty much all the Evos <laughs> in the valley. So was it? Okay. Yeah. So not a lot. Yeah. Definitely not like the Subaru community. Yeah. And so you said you were mentioning that you had a Subaru before this. I did. And so what happened with that? I had a 13 WRX hatch. Okay. And the Evo was always the dream. So. Gotcha. Okay. As soon as I could, I, could, I sold it and then got the Evo. Gotcha, man. Well, so any regrets so far? Nope. You love it every Absolutely day? Love it, yep. Yeah, this thing, it looks pretty crazy. So this is a wrap. What was the original color under here? Uh, Phantom Black Pearl was the oh, OEM another, color. That's another good color. Yeah, that's another good color. Yeah, so the black was really good, but I always wanted a white Evo. Yeah. And so. 
White Evos, like they're, how do I say it? I mean, they always look good, right? There's never like a white Evo that doesn't, that doesn't look good. And I think that with black, it's hard because basically it's still a black color and you still have to worry about swirls and scratches and things like that. Whereas right. with a rally car, white can't really go wrong. I also really like the, uh, I think that the blues look good on these. I also, um, the rally red is one that I'm just not sure on, on the Evo X. Mainly for the fact that it's, can I say old man red? Is that a thing I can old say on here? Red. Is that is that gonna offend people? I think it's just kind of more of a, it's got more of that wine color in, in my opinion. And uh, what's that? Burgundy. It's like a burgundy, like a, like a Ron Burgundy. And I just, I think it looks good still, just not my favorite color on these cars. Right. I think that, um, the Obsidian Black Pearl shows off the body line super well. I, hell, I even think the silver shows off the body line super well. So does the graphite gray or whatever they call that gray nowadays. It's also a good looking color. But, uh, is that so, what your code, the Evo 9 is? Is that the that Evo, Yeah, code? graphite gray as an Evo 9 uh, color. Not my Evo 9, I don't have one of those. Right guys? Are your feet wet yet in this? A little bit, but a little bit. Okay, it's part of the process, though. Because I'm sitting here like, I think that those guest Crocs need to come in much sooner. I've pretty much made my way around the car. How about how have you done? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I think we're good. Unless you see something where I missed. No, you got the back <laughs> of the car, right? Yeah. Cool. So I think that we are good. And so I'm gonna go through get the underside of the spoiler here really quick. Gonna get around there. But what's crazy is just how good the sponge works with soap and water. And I know that you're kind of new to all this and you're probably what, like wondering, you know, what I mean? Well, mm -hmm. this sponge, the predecessor to this was a red sponge that was meant for rinseless washing. And so it was kind of just meant for rinseless washing. It wasn't able to be used with soap. And so when this came out to succeed that sponge and people are like, you can use this with soap and rinseless, pretty next level and it's an exclusive sponge sold through us that we uh, worked out with the man himself, Mr. Ivan LaCroix, who's the, the, the creator of the Big Red Sponge and the Ultra Black. And um, what I kind of mean by this is kind of getting a close up look here. This thing holds suds extremely well and it's not just on the base of the sponge, it goes deep down in within the pores of the cells. And so you can see, oh, see how, much, saying, yeah. how much soap is being released. And so like I'll wipe that again for Dane to see here, but when I squeeze, right, right? The soap is able to like basically flow freely through uh, the cells of this foam, making it to where it is extremely slick and soft to the touch, right? right? There's not much harm you can do with this no, thing, which is awesome. So cool, so I think we are ready to dry this, or not dry this thing, ready to rinse this thing off, right? If we were to dry it, that would be a pretty weird time, right? <laughs> All right, well, that's done. So now we're gonna move on to the wheels. So most people are probably watching this like, well, why didn't they just do the wheels first? And the reason for that is we like to be different. We need to change things up. We don't want you guys to get too sick of this show. We do the same thing every single time. So we're gonna start with the wheels first. Um, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna grab our wheel bucket, we're gonna grab some brushes. Um, since you have tire letters on there and the tires are probably already cleaned for the show that you went to, we're not gonna do a tire scrub. We're just gonna be cleaning just the face of the wheel itself with brake buster that we have on tap. And that'll be really, really cool. Then we're gonna re-rinse this, get the car dried, and we might use a drying aid in today's video to kind of show you what a drying aid does, as well as uh, do something to where we can top off this coating and make sure it oh, continues sweet. to have protection against UV, uh, stay slick, hydrophobic, and all the good stuff that we love about coating. So we're gonna grab our bucket and get to clean this wheel. All right, Josh, so we have this fancy hose here, and we actually have two of these in the bay to where we have brake buster on tap. So this guy right here sprays out, brake buster straight, pretty simple. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on, but there is. So we're getting the wheel coated and the tire coated. Just like that. And you can start to see the purple run off there at the bottom, right? right? So I'll have you hold that for a quick second. We're gonna come in here with our long wheel brush and we're gonna start kind of cleaning the face of the wheel. What's nice is it's got a rubber stopper on it. So you know how you hear like wheel brushes when they clink and you're yep. like, oh my God, what's that sound? Fortunately, there's a rubber stopper on here to protect the wheels because I am a big fan of RPF ones. Do you really own an Evo if you don't have RPF that, yeah, ones? Right, I know, right? Some type of a, or some type of Enki wheel. Right. I really like NTO3s. I love NTO3s. And um, 
when I started doing research and stuff like that, I actually found that you know Koenig makes you know basically extremely competitive wheels to Enki wheels. You know, even if you don't like the look of them, weight-wise, they're pretty much you know awesome and right there with them. Right. They go through the same kind of forging process. So look at that that we're picking up here on that Holy tire. Snap. So it's then a from bunch of dirt. there is. So what I'm going to do next? I'm going to grab one of our soft little bristle detailing brushes and I'll take this because these wheels are like a soft black I don't want to damage them so see how I'm kind of loading oh, up that brush right. mm -hmm. so loading that brush I'll come in here and I'm going to get through all the lugs hindsight I should have started recording my wheels not too late it's never too late I'd say take them off do them a really thorough cleaning polish them if, if, if needed and then go through and get them all coated up I, th I don't think you'll regret it, man. So going through like this, getting all of that. With gloss black wheels especially, I always like these detail factory brushes because I just know that they're not gonna scratch. Right. And on a, on a wheel like this that I know that you probably keep up on pretty consistently with, um, I know that these wheels aren't super, super dirty to where they need something really abrasive. Gotcha. So that's that. I mean, that's pretty much Dang. the wheel cleaning. So we'll come through here. We're gonna repeat this step three more times. But then what we'll do is we'll finish it off here at the very end and do a final spray down. Cool. All right, Josh, so it's time to dry the car. We got it moved out from that swamp over there and ready to Man. put our liquidators to use. So these are one of our favorite drying towels that we have. They're a twist loop 70-30 blend. These things are super absorbent. One of these towels could probably do three of these, in all honesty. They're that absorbent. What? So they are. Nobody That's believes insane. me when I say that. I try to tell people all the time, like the grocery store, I'm like, hey, you know the rag company's towels? I'm like, stop talking to me, sir. I'm like, <laughs> whatever, man. So anyway, how this works is we're gonna be using C2V3, which is liquid crystal by uh, G Technic. It is a sealant, but you already have Halo on here, which is a ceramic coating for wraps. So this is gonna go perfectly. The synergy between the two products is amazing. So we're gonna be using C2V3 as a drying aid. So how this works is we're gonna be taking a panel here that's still wet and doing a couple sprays. Even that was probably more than what I needed to do. Take right. our towel to that area and start spreading it in. And you're gonna notice that this is going to be extremely, extremely slick. It's gonna be like the day you brought it home from the wrap shop after the coating. I mean, you can come take a feel here of just how smooth that is. Wow, that's and so, impressive. It's perfect because this is gonna add a little bit more UV protection. It's going to extend the life of your coating that you have on here, right? And thus making your wrap last longer as well. So there's benefits to using a topper at all times. Just make sure that after using C2V3 as a drying aid, wash your towels. Because if you don't wash your towels, then they may be hydrophobic as well and you don't want that. So how this is gonna Makes work, sense. I'm going to spray this side of the car for you. All right. You're gonna start drying this thing down Make haste, as some people would say. Will do. It's 93 degrees up in this media building and it's not getting any cooler. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a couple sprays here. Door, and I'm even gonna hit your windows for you as well because right. you could also use this on your windows and then your fender. How's it feel so far? It is so smooth. It's slick, right? I wasn't yeah. kidding, man. This stuff is extremely, extremely slick. C2V3 on its own, but topped with a you know, having a coating underneath, I guess I should say, really takes it to the next level. Yeah, this stuff works. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is one of uh, probably the top sellers in the G-Technic line, which is just, uh, I mean, they have a lot of great products and they're primarily known for their coatings, but C2V3 is hands down one of their best um, spray sealants and ceramic coating toppers, and people absolutely love this. And so, one of their best sellers, and, uh, we happen to sell it on both theragcompany.com and Amazon. Make sure to pick yours up today. All right, back to the washer. <laughs> so I'll typically hit the windows, hit all the trim, and you can put this stuff on everything, right? It's not gonna hurt anything at all whatsoever. But keep in mind, it's strong stuff and it does last some time. So some people are like, well, how long does this last? And I'm like, well, unless you want hydrophobic protection for at least six months, don't put it on something. So, you know, keep That's it away from time. your babies, your animals, oh. you know, your food. I'm a big Trisket guy. I try to keep it off my Triscuits because, <laughs> just face it, man. 
<laughs> I'm just, Jason, I'm, I'm kind of messing with everybody right now. A lot of this stuff doesn't make the footage, you know? Well, it's the heat. It's messing with his brain. <laughs> the great Jason Rose here. He's like a mirage in the distance. I can't tell if he's real. <laughs> Do you like pizza with white sauce? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That is the real Jason Rose, not a mirage. <laughs> All right, Josh, so now we're down to the wheels. We just finished drying the car. It is now protected with C2V3, and it feels, you can feel amazing. the difference, right? This yeah. thing feels amazing. Um, I love that combination. I think this wrap just really pops too. And so we're gonna be applying the same process to the wheels. You said these weren't ceramic coated, but that doesn't mean we can't protect them, right? right. So we're gonna be using C2V3 as well. Um, these can be used on, this can be used on pretty much anything and everything, except for the tire. There's no point in doing that. So we're doing a couple sprays here on the wheel itself. And then I do a couple sprays into the towel and that kind of primes the towel and gets it ready. It helps the product spread easier. So I'll just kind of start in an area and let's face it, drying wheels is never fun, nope. right? So we're trying to make Not the most, all. trying to make the most <laughs> of it, right? And so we'll go through, knock out that. What I find interesting, you actually have the center caps, right? I do. I can't think of anybody who typically has center caps, the RPF1s the RPF or ones, yeah, just come without in, them. in TO3s. I know. What is that? Is that some type of marketing thing? Do they do that to try to upsell you on center caps? I have no idea. What? I just covered it up because I had a rusted bolt there. Oh, did you? Yeah, okay, so well, I, I think everybody's had a rusty bolt or two in their life. Am I right? <laughs> Anyways, so. <clears throat> going through. Drying that off, but dude, these wheels are nice, man. I really, really like them. I appreciate it. And so, um, yeah, there's just something classic about RPF ones. I mean, there's just you know everybody respects them. There's very few people out there that have anything wrong with them. The biggest thing is people say, ah, oh, they're overplayed or they're overdone, and you're like, why? Because they look good. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. What's your exactly. argu What's your argument there? So, and then these Brembos, man. So that yellow pops. It looks really, really good. Thank and you. They did a good job. Whoever coated those did a I really, did. really No, you did not. Sorry. You <laughs> painted those yourself? First time I've ever painting anything, yeah. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> so they're not a, perfect, but. You, but you did a good job. Thanks. I literally, those look factory to me, man. So good yeah, job. Yeah, factory that, colors red. Yeah. Well, I mean, they look factory done. Oh, that's I see what, what I'm saying. trying to say. So, like, I like the red, but everybody knows that red Brembos fade with time because, let's face it, they put like a coat of spray, you know, of paint on those things. So, when it comes to redoing them, redoing them the right way and putting some own color on there, they look awesome. So there we go, man. That's one wheel down. And uh, mm. like I said, I think the tires already look good. They already look pretty dressed from the last show that you went to. So there's really no reason to touch them up. Yep. And you have some tire stickers on there. So I don't want to take the risk there. And you have your own tire cleaner right. that comes for those. So we'll let you knock that out when you get home. Yep. But let's go ahead and knock out another wheel. Let you give this a try. So here's C2V3 and here is a Cree Tredulous. Appreciate it. All right, Josh, so that's a wrap, literally. It's a wrap. Get it. <laughs> wrap. Get it? Okay, bad joke. So we just finished up. What do you think? I think it turned out great. I think it looks awesome, man. And I know some people might be thinking like, oh, it's a wrap, you know, how much more can you see? Well, we can see the difference here in person and it does make a difference. I think the C2V3 is a topper, looks fantastic on the Halo. I think the wrap already looks good, but I think the car just cleaned up extremely well. And so what was your favorite part of the process? Definitely over there with the oh. foam cannon and just like getting to experience all of that was pretty awesome. Pretty state of the art. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Thank you. I think it was pretty fun. So uh, do you like the shampoo? Did you like the like the actual sprayer? Like what do you kind of like about it so we can, you know, obviously Honestly, the, do more the of it. cleaner for the wheels yeah. and uh, being able to get like all the dirt and grime off was pretty yep. impressive. I, I haven't used anything like that. So dude, Brake Buster, man. Brake Buster was definitely Morgan, did we a get plus. him a thing at Brake Buster? We got you some brake busters, hey, so you'll be able to do that at home. Nice, and so that's kind of one benefit of being on Wash Wednesday is every time we have a guest, we always hook them up with some goodies to take home with them uh, so they can use the same stuff that we used on their own car. So you'll be able to try that stuff out. But anyways, Josh, it's been awesome, man. So where could people see more of your Evo? Instagram? Instagram, yeah. What is it? JJT.EvoX. Cool, man. Yeah. So, everybody... but shout out to you guys for having me on here. I appreciate it. To so, us, shout out to the, the rag company. company. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you. it. Thank yeah. you for coming on board and uh, and jumping along with the whole video idea. It's always kind of hard to find people to to kind of come along and take time out of their day because we do this during the work week. So we appreciate your time as well, man. It really means a lot. So, anyways, car is clean. You're good to go. You have product nice. to take home and uh, <laughs> nothing better than that. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more and stay tuned for more Wash Wednesdays right here at The Rag Company.